Hey everyone, so today I wanted to make a quick video about how to install Reaper and how to use it best for voiceover. Now, there is a lot of videos, especially Booth Junkie um, and some other people who have made some fantastic videos on how to use Reaper, the digital audio workstation, for specifically for voiceover. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a file in the comments um, section below where you can in install Reaper on your computer and then you can install that config file and basically it sets up Reaper the basics to use for voiceover. So the first thing I'm going to do is open um, the, the newly downloaded version of Reaper um, on my desktop and when I do that the first thing it's going to do is this box comes up uh, you have not selected any audio devices do you want to do that now so i'm going to say yes and then the box that comes up is this one here okay so the input device is going to be your audio interface so uh, for me i don't have my my usual ssl2 on this this is in my office so i'm going to use the usb audio interface um, but in truth you would choose your audio device and then your output device is either going to be um, your audio interface or, or some something else. So it's usually always going to be your audio interface that you choose at those points there. OK, uh, I'm actually going to move this back to Microsoft Sound Mapper because then you can record things. And then this is the window that you will see. This is how reaper comes out of the box um so this isn't conducive for voiceover because you can see at the top we've got um bars and we've got beats per minute uh down here and we've got all these grid lines and it's just it's not a good view um for voiceover so to install the file that i'm going to put in the comments below all you do is you go to options and then you go to preferences and then you do have to scroll up here and you go to general and then what we want to do is import configuration now i downloaded the import configuration file into my download folder so it is this one here basic reaper config and i'm going to open it and then it says um, will it will require a restart for reaper and you press ok and then this window opens up and it says do basically this is all the imported configurations that we're going to do so we're going to press import and then reaper is going to restart okay and now we have a completely different view for reaper and you can see here on the left hand side this is the um audio levels from the microphone that is being that i mapped to uh, Reaper which you would have made as your audio interface and this section big section here is going to be your waveform this section on the right here this is your master volume control um, basically your master mixer and then down the bottom here is where we can start recording so I'm going to have to uh, do one more thing before I can show you something uh, to record and everybody's going to have to do this because um, I don't know where you want to save your files on your computer okay so you have to go to options and down to preferences again and then this dialog box will come up and it's the default paths to save new projects so what i would recommend is you go to browse and then you go to this pc and then to documents and then i would suggest you create a reaper file a reaper folder sorry so i'm going to choose this reaper folder that i already um created if you haven't created one already you would press this make new folder button here to create that reaper folder and then i will press ok and you can see that that's changed the path to save all new projects so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to insert that for all these other selections here so what's going to happen is all of the necessary files for reaper are going to be sa uh, saved in that reaper document um, 
Now you can, in truth, you can have the project saved in one folder and you can have the render, which is actually the saved MP3 that you're going to create into a, a completely different folder if you want. That's up to you how you set up your folders. But the most easy way is to do it all within one folder. And then I'm gonna to go to apply and press okay. So now if I go to file and I want to start a new project, okay, you can see this PC documents and Reaper. And therefore I'm gonna put in here test and then save. So now I'm ready to create my file. And to do that, all I have to do is press the record button. And now that I'm pressing record, you can see my waveform on the screen has started to show up. And as long as I record, the waveform is going to show up. Now I'm gonna press stop. And that is my waveform. If I want to play it back, I just go back to the start of the file. And, and now that I press record, record you, can you can see, see my waveform on the screen has started, started to show, to show up. up. And, and so that's absolutely perfect. That is the file recorded. Um, I'm not going to do editing and how to manipulate the file and the, the waveform on this video. I will make another video for that. But as you can see, this is a very, very easy way for you to use uh, Reaper for voiceover. And um, you can see how easy it is to get set up because uh, a lot of people get scared with Reaper because it, it is such a complex uh, program. But when you strip it down uh, to its most basics, it actually is really, really easy and really, really powerful. So look out for some more of my Reaper videos coming up soon, but hopefully uh, that shows you how good Reaper can be and how quickly it can be set up. Take care until next time.